anything if you're stuck. Put it all Dan? On. Yeah. Are we ready? Have you had a drink of your tea? You okay? Yes. Yes. Is it rolling? It's rolling, yeah. Well, Mr. Barton, you've locally, you've lived around here locally now all your life. Uh, yeah. Could you tell us your past experiences of Hardwick or, and Coates, you know, leading right. up to 1926 and after 1926, a general strike? Yes. Now, the union started to take over when I was a boy. They'd been going for many a year, but they was getting stronger and stronger as the years went by, which meant that uh, they was nearly running the country, which they are at the present day. But them days was different to the days of of now, because nowadays the clock on at a clock. But when I was a boy, fifteen, you used to have checks, and you used to give your check in at the lodge and with your number on, whatever number you was. And you would book him from there. And when you'd finished work, you'd give your check back and they knew how long you'd worked in the day. But talking about the good old days, there was, in a sense, as food was plentiful and it was cheap. But bear this in mind that they, they used to always think about paying your rent. That was the main thing, uh, the rent and then food after. And, and the shopping that you used to do, a pound would be a week 